wow I've started this project uh, just over three weeks I've started with my pool um, by providing molasses in the water to generate live food called Daphnia. Uh, it, has, it successfully happened within a week and now uh, just after three weeks it happened again and I've got millions and millions of Daphnia which is a live food um, that a very young fry could feed on. If you look at this water and if you can see the, the movement of what appears to be dust that's actually full of Daphnia and the young fry, which are now three weeks old and in between two centimeters to five centimeters already. I've never fed them any food except this Daphnia. I've had such good success. It's incredible. Um, and it's actually cost me absolutely no money at all. Um, so by looking at my other videos, you would see how I cultivated the Daphnia and how now I have bred thousands and thousands of koi and goldfish. Okay, I'm going to zoom in to where the sun is now striking. Uh, it's a very bright summer day. Uh, a pool is shadowed by my house, but wherever the sun is shining, the fish is up on the surface. It's approximately 20 past 6. And there you can see thousands of fish, young fry, between 2 centimeters and 5 centimeters, enjoying live food, Daphnia, which, like I said, I've cultivated free of charge. So I've now, uh, through uh, research and um, many years of experience, I will have, uh, end of this week, when I drain this pond or pool, I will have thousands and thousands of goldfish um, ready to eat um, manufactured food. Um, I will have more videos on this. And my dad's pet shop will have fish that I've actually bred uh, free of charge to approximately five centimeters. So it's been a good experience and it's also going to be uh, an experience and a hobby that will generate uh, a decent amount of money. I'm going to zoom in again on the Daphnia, which is actually the the objective of this project. Wow. That's just what you're seeing now is over an area of about 10 centimeters or over 10 centimeters or 100 millimeters over 100 millimeters and you can see how incredibly populated the Daphnia is.